Hey guys, uh, okay, I just want to make a fairly quick video here today just on this uh, little 12 volt timer switch I picked up on Amazon. Uh, it's super cheap, it's like 15 bucks Canadian free shipping, so I think it's pretty awesome for what it does. Um, so yeah, it's basically a 12 volt powered uh, on off switch. So you can set, uh, you know, different days of the week, uh, different times a day, multiple times a day to switch on or switch off a 12 volt appliance. Um, the only problem is the manual it comes with is absolutely terrible. Like it's, it's all translated from a different language and really like these are all different languages, but these are the only English instructions that you get with it. And they're sort of, they're a little complicated. Uh, they're not really like logical. I mean, once you know it, they kind of make sense, but I just want to explain it uh, sort of quickly here, just so anybody that picks this up is like, how do you run it? This is how. So disregard all this stuff. This is just a little solar setup I got going here, but at the end of the day, it's just being fed with 12 volt power. I'm using this to uh, switch on and off an irrigation pump, uh, 12 volt irrigation pump. So just to wire it up quickly, really simple. Uh, you've got your input. So it's, oh, sorry, it's got a little battery in it that will keep your settings. So your clock and so even if you disconnect it from the 12 volts, you'll still, you'll still see the clock running and you won't lose any of your settings. So this is more just to run the switch and to obviously run your appliance. So you're going to do input with 12 volts here, uh, input negative here. This is your switch side. So you can either do a negative switch or a positive uh, switch. I'm just doing the positive switch. So at the end of the day, when my, uh, Thing turns on this thing turns on I'll have positive coming out of here or not so I just put a 12 volt jumper wire between the input 12 volt and the one side of the switch uh, you can run 12 to the battery 12 to the battery if you want it's totally up to you that's how you wire it up um, so just uh, go back to the home or whatever you want to call it here so uh, there's a number of different features and, and options but I guess I'll just start with the very basic which would be you know, just setting the time. Uh, so this is the current time. I don't want to mess with it too much, but all you do is you hold down the little clock and then you can go minute, hour, day with the D, D H and M there. So let's just change the hour. I'll just go right through the whole thing. So hold down the clock and then you can go through and you can hold it to go a little faster. So I'm just going to go right through back to where it was. So we're back to 9.15. If you want to change the day, just hold down the clock and just keep pressing day. And it'll go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, up at the top there. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, one thing to note before I get into settings is this manual button. So you can switch on and off the appliance hooked to this 12 volt by just pressing it twice. So there it's on. It has this convenient little light with a little switch symbol. And then press it twice again. We'll shut it off. And then if you see when I was pressing that, you'll see this, so this right here means it's always off. So no matter what settings you have, let's say you have like it, things to come on, you know, Monday at 9.15, even if that's set and this little light has an X through it, it will not turn on. So it's sort of like an override, this thing is completely off, your appliance will not turn on if this light has the X through it. So the other mode is auto. So when it's in auto, whatever your settings are, it will follow those settings. It'll turn on when you want, turn off when you want, all that. And then obviously there's just the on. That's why I was pressing it twice. So we'll go back to off. Actually, no, we'll go to auto. So we're in auto. So that's kind of what people are buying this thing for is so they can automate uh, a 12 volt appliance. Um, so let's do, so here's what I've got it set up for. That's, I guess we'll start with that. I want my, um, irrigation pump to come on Mon Monday, Wednesday, Friday, for example, uh, from, well, we'll do the actual time here. So uh, we'll have it come on at 9.18 a.m. So what I wanna do here is go to P, so program, and you'll see I've already got it set to Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You can change that by pressing the day, and you'll see, so there's, those are different options. So you could have it just come on Saturday, Sunday, you do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, throughout the week, work week. But we're just gonna keep pressing it till we get to what we want. Oh yeah, and you can go through each individual day, which is handy. So lots of different options. This will make more sense as I go through it. But we want it to come on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays at the specified time. Now to do the specified time, I haven't touched anything else, but you'll see it says uh, AM on 
and number one here. So that's your first time setting. So right now it will come on the way it said without touching it, it will come on Monday mornings at 9.06 AM. But just to show you guys, I'm going to have it come on Monday morning at, um, go here? at 9.20. And I think that's where we'll be in a sec. So we'll put it to 9.20 and then it'll shut to shut it off. Let's say at 9.21 AM, one minute later, we'll press the P again and then you'll see it switches to off and then we'll go 921. And if that's all the settings you want to do, you only want it to come on Monday, Wednesday, Friday for one minute, you would just press clock there. You'll go back home. So I'll give it a minute. I'll go through some other things and hopefully I can come back when it's, uh, when it gets to 920 there. So uh, other settings, so press P again. So that's just one of the options. So let's say you wanted it to come on maybe later in the day, Monday at like 10 AM. So you would go P and then it goes to the off and then you press P again. Now you're into a blank setting. So right now it's doing nothing at this number two setting and to get it to blank out here, I'll just go. So right now I'm gonna change the day, it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So right now I've got it, for example, coming on at 12.09 um, in the morning at, uh, on Monday. But if I wanted to clear that so it didn't do anything, you just press clear. So now it's not gonna do anything. But for example, this is the second setting. So you could go, you know, Monday at, Monday at, uh, 12.01 in the morning, let's say. So that'll come on, then you press P again, and then it'll go off. And you can, you can change all these parameters, which is cool. You can go off at 12.02 a.m. Uh, on Monday, and then you can move to the next program. I have it blank, because I'm not using it. Let's just go back to the timer here. Okay, so we got 10 seconds before it turns on. So this is the first sort of setting we have it on. There we go. So it's 9.20 right now. It came on and it will shut off at 9.21, which is what we have it set to. So honestly, I could probably just stop right there. I think you guys get the idea, but there's just so many different options. Like you press this P and I think you have like, I'm just going through them here. Like you have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think it was 16. I saw there different scenarios. Um, based on the you know time of the week time of day all that so you know for the price of this thing it's super handy and uh yeah it's i think it's kind of cool just the instructions are a little convoluted but uh it works really well so if you got any questions about anything you know let me know um yeah i mean i'll, I'll just do one more here just to show you guys so we'll go back home so this will shut off at 9 21 uh, let's have it come back on at 922 only on Mondays. Let's say that. Uh, so we want to come on 922 only on Mondays. So we'll go program. We'll change the day program to Mondays only. So Mondays only. And we want it to come on at 922. So we'll set the time. So 922 on on Mondays and then press P again. And then we want to shut off at 923 Mondays only. So there we go, we're off. And then right there, if you just want to exit out of that, you just press the clock, go back home, and you're back to the home page where you can just let it do it on its own. So in 20 seconds here, you'll see it will come on again. And you see it's off, so it did shut off at the 921 while we were in there. And just to show you, I'll just turn this meter on while we're doing it. So we got three seconds here, it'll be on. So there's 922, it's on. And I'll just put the, oh. it is on. <laughs> DC, there we go. There we go, 12.9, 13 volts, which is what's coming through the battery. Okay, so I'll try to get this all in. So I'll put the terminal on here. You'll see you got 12.8 volts. 
on the meter, 13, and in three seconds it'll shut off. There we go, zero volts. So that's how it works, guys. Like I said earlier, just if you got any questions, let me know, but that's, that's the basics of this thing. Thanks for watching.